friends welcome back to my youtube channel today i want to share with you how to paint this england rose and for background i'm going to use wet on a technique and rose a uh, little bit i i want to paint in detail so use paint ultramarine deep sap green sharp pink and magenta and brilliant pink etc maybe this color is mainly used for this painting and brushes escoda brush and Huahong and Raphael brush this washi big washi brush for background okay let's get started first step is I'm going to wetting the paper on the background with big washi brush yeah, include the uh, flower area and then um, this is ultramarine deep color putting on the background area edge area here is the flower shadow area so even though this area is flower However, I'm painting here with the shadow color and background color. This is ultramarine deep color. This place will be a shadow. And so a brush touch very smoothly and softly and use the tip of the brush side part. And then this one is a brilliant pink and for but brush um, after finish this area that uh, spot is will be uh, flowers or not but i want to uh, make the background abstract effect so i touching the uh, different flower color touch here and there I'm using spreader technique for background. And then touch again with the, this Escoda brush. This is a synthetic Escoda brush. Some got uh, a sap cream mix, ultramarine deep. This paper is still very much wet, so I'm touching the paper with very dark color. So that color has spread by themselves very smoothly. I got Sap Green Mix uh, Ultramarine Deep, so I made flower leaves color. But this paper is still very much wet, so I putting on the sap green mix ultramarine deep color and they spread by themselves so after dry uh, very uh, smooth colors on the paper so this is a first layer with leaves okay move on to flower area this England rose uh, flowers very beautiful and gorgeous and so pedal is very complicated so many people wants to paint this rose uh, yeah a little bit hard i know so but we're gonna try it today okay i haven't been able to paint detailed flower kind of this rose for a, uh, for a while so i think it will be very fun today Okay. Today I'm using wet on a technique and wet on dry techniques both. So also I'm gonna draw I'm gonna draw flowers in detail. So yeah now I'm a brilliant pink uh, colored on the flower area. So light is up on left corner so this uh, I'm painting a little bit dark area.
Okay, I know it will be a little bit hurry uh, in the channel, this channel. However, I hope you follow along me. We need to do draw each pedals one by one. And I'm using tip of the brush, and this is a synthetic brush, so uh, this brush has not much water, not much hold the water. Uh, I changed the pointed brush. I mixed the brilliant pink mix, just a little bit of yellow, and touch the center of the flower. This uh, color is a dark and a strong thick color. First, uh, touch the very thick and strong color, and then you blot, um, you dipping the water just a small, and then dilute the water. And draw some line on the pedal with the very pointed this brush. Get some uh, magenta. I put on the center of the flower. Draw the each pedal uh, step by step and um, yeah, one by one. Draw some lines on the pedal. First, uh, touch the color uh, on the paper very thick, strong color, and then next, uh, just to get some clean water and dilute the uh, that color. Look uh, carefully. And now I'm draw the some lines on the pedal. Actually, there is a uh, flower Spain. When you draw the, these uh, rose petals, don't hurry, just uh, um, draw the very slowly and then enjoy your own time. Draw line and dilute the, that color with clean water and just touch the edge of the petal with the very thick and a strong color and again dilute the that color with clean water anyway actually the same technique start to um, dark to light or light to dark
We are almost finished paint flower petals. So I, uh, I'm doing uh, same technique and same colors on the petal. Move on to small parts. Take some zap green and paint on the uh, small parts. This is a wet on dry technique. Almost uh, all dried background uh, paper. Throw another small part. Take out some uh, water and colors. Yeah, because these uh, birds find the distance. And take some ultramarine deep and mix sap green. This background paper almost dry, so I want to get a little more dark and a strong creamy color and with the you know, synthetic brush draw some leaves just to push the paper on the uh, just to push the brush on the paper palm knee and then uh, yeah pull down and slide up a little bit okay push and slide up Touch the paper and slide up the brush. Yeah, I wanna get abstract effect in the background with wet on that technique without uh, using masking fluid. So we didn't use the masking fluid today. It's not easy technique. However, we're gonna try it. Okay. Yeah, almost done this painting. This is a final touch up with uh, brilliant pink on the uh, paint on the lips. I hope you learned a lot in this video. Next, I will paint uh, flowers again. See you next time. Bye.